Hi there, I'm Black Bright, and um, yes, I'm here to answer your questions if you've got any concerns, and I'll look into things for you. You just have to email me, blackbrightnews at gmail.com. The address is at the bottom underneath the description. I've had a request about um, a, a gentleman who's married to someone and he says that he's only got a few months left from the five years, but that his wife is reluctant to sign the papers because she thinks that as soon as she signs them, he's going to chip. Um, that's a difficult one because on the one hand, um, the spouse, the person who has got married and who's waiting for the indefinite leave to remain and who wants the security of being in the country. So he's going to feel as though he's going to want to ask and inquire about it. And from her perspective, she's going to be thinking, well, why is he asking me about the stay? Why, does he, why is he rushing me to fill up the paperwork as soon as the time is up? So for her, it's going to ring alarm bells and she's going to be thinking, oh, he just wants to get his papers so he can chip. Whereas from the gentleman's perspective, he, he might genuinely be concerned about his stay in the country. The thing is, is that you do need the cooperation of your spouse. The reason why you've got your visa in the first place is based on that marriage. If that marriage breaks down or you haven't got the cooperation of your wife, that you're not going to be able to get through. There are a few stipulations about um, succeeding um, with the indefinite leave to remain on a spouse visa. That's the threshold of 18,600. 18, I understand you earn more than that. Um, there is the life in the UK test and the English test. Now, if you did the English test before, it's got a two year, it's valid for two years and it expires after two years. So you have to do it again unless the um, provider that you did the test under is still on the books at the Home Office. So you can check that out with the Home Office. That's www, not the Home Office, www.gov.uk. They'll have a list of all the accredited providers for the test. So if the person you did the test with before is on that list, you won't have to do it again. Um, so that's another important thing. Of course, you're going to need the bank statements for six months. You're going to need your um, pay slips for six months. You're going to have to show joint bills and you're going to for the period. And you're going to have to show like council tax bills, joint bank accounts, all of that stuff. So if your spouse is reluctant to cooperate, that's going to put you in problems. And there's no point even submitting an application because you'll be wasting your money if you haven't got her cooperation and if you haven't got the proof that you are in a subsisting relationship. Now, you're saying that you've been in it for five years. You have to have that five years evidence. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Um, I think um, that was all, actually. Yeah, I don't know what else to say, to be honest, because like I said, it is a difficult one when you get married to somebody and then they're asking about, oh, have you completed the application form? Because they are concerned about their stability and that person thinking, oh, that's all he wants me for and he's going to leave me afterwards. There's going to be, have to be a lot of reassurance going on there. I mean, hopefully she realizes that it's a genuine relationship. Um, you, you hopefully you've got a child together and you're working well together. She's got no reason to think you, you know, you're um, going to be unfaithful or that you've done anything wrong or you haven't um, abused her in any way. And um, providing the relationship is solid, it's just about you reassuring her and being honest and saying, look, baby, um, 
It's not that I'm going to chip. That's not the reason why I'm asking you to complete the forms. It really is just because with what's going on in the country and with um, with them deporting people, I'm genuinely concerned about my status in the country. I'm not asking you to sign the form just so I can leave you afterwards. And you need to be sincere and genuine. You can't be using anybody in this time. We all need each other. We need to work together. Can't be thinking, you know, it's not a hustle thing anymore. It's not a situation because I'll tell you something. Even if you, you if you decide to chip after you've got that five years stay um, and you think you're OK, you're not OK. So there's no point in you thinking that after you've done your five years, you're going to be OK. You're going to get your indefinitely to a moment because it can still be revoked if they find out that you've just been doing it just to get your stay. So it's not worth it. Just be genuine, be sincere. And I hope this has helped. Bye bye.